Fedora Linux is at the forefront of maybe slightly too early changes in the Linux distro space. Even though Fedora KDE did need to step back just a little bit with dropping X11, initially they wanted to just not support it whatsoever, not even have it in the repos. Now instead, if you upgrade from Fedora 39 up to Fedora 40, you're going to be migrated directly into the Wayland session and the Xorg session is not going to be shipped. But the Xorg session is still going to be available in the Fedora repos and it looks like the flagship Fedora workstation is going to be following suit. Xorg is probably going away on Fedora Workstation as well. Now this is not the first time these discussions have been had. The last time were during the Fedora KDE Xorg discussions opened about six months ago. Evaluate our X11 session offering. For a very long time now, Wayland has been the default if you're using Fedora Workstation, but Xorg has been there as an option if maybe there was something wrong with your hardware, or maybe there was a bug, or any other reason that you wanted to fall back to the Xorg session. At the time, they were considering a couple of different options. One, hide the X11 session by default so that fewer people use it. This would be behind something like a configuration option. Remove the X11 session file. Users would be able to add it back and use it as an unsupported configuration. Or three, and this would be the most nuclear option, build GNOME components, e.g. Mutter, GNOME Shell, GNOME Session, without X11 support. Technically, users could recompile those packages themselves, but... That's always going to be the case for the vast majority of users. If it is not in the repos, it is not supported on the distro. Technically, there could also be a copper package, but if you're looking through copper for a GNOME package, you're already a very, very niche user. These changes would only affect GNOME and the session. Apps would still be able to use X11 through X Wayland. No sensible distro is talking about dropping X Wayland yet. Now, at the time, there was a lot of discussion about this, like, really, really a lot of discussion. But ultimately, from Catanzaro, we discussed this at last week's working group meeting. But it looks like we forgot to post a status update here, so whatever we agreed on is probably now forgotten. Unless somebody has a better memory than I do. Proposal, just follow what Upstream decides to do. Currently, that means we'll remove the X11 session file soon, but leave the X11 support available for anybody who creates the session file. We discussed this again at today's meeting. We think we are ready to remove GDM's UDEV rules that cause the login screen to conditionally fall back to X11 rather than using Wayland. This will break users who are truly completely incapable of using a Wayland session. Affected users will need to edit their GDM conf to re-enable X11, which will require some technical expertise as there'll be no graphical session from which to do so. This probably affects people who use older NVIDIA hardware with older driver versions. We do not have a consensus for removing the X11 desktop sessions prior to Upstream doing so. Upstream is likely to remove them soon, regardless of what we choose to do. Removing these sessions downstream does not have strong benefits for Fedora users. And we are especially sensitive to accessibility requirements and want Orca global key bindings to work in Wayland. We encourage Upstream to not remove the X11 sessions before global key binding support is in place. Now that was the state as of four months ago. It was deferred to Upstream, so... Whenever GNOME removes support, then Fedora will remove support. But there is a newer suggestion, which is a little bit lighter. No longer install GNOME Xorg sessions by default. This was suggested by Jens Peterson, a Red Hat software engineering manager and member of the Haskell and Font SIGs. I was wondering if we should stop installing GNOME Session X Session by default in Fedora 40 Workstation. Keep in mind, at the time of posting, Fedora 40 was about a month and a half away. Now it's closer to a month away, so a little bit soon to be making a massive change like that. I guess if we want to do that, it should really happen before the beta release. Alternatively, it could be done more formally as a Fedora change in Fedora 41 and first in Rawhide. From my recollection, the working group early discussed about the removal of GNOME Session X Session, but we decided not to do that, wisely, 
until Upstream drops it. But I think we did not discuss about whether we want to continue pre-installing Gnome Session X Session or not. I think it would be good to encourage more people to use Wayland, though without breaking installations for anyone. Basically, you install Fedora 40 Workstation, and there is no XORG package installed, but the package is in the repo. Catanzaro also commented over here as well. Removing the X11 session from the default installation would actually match what Fedora KDE is doing, and it's a fairly modest proposal since anybody who wants it back can just install it again. I think this is sufficiently uncontroversial that we can save time at our next meeting if we vote on it here instead. Plus one from me. Now, Neil Gomp was involved in this thread as well, and he went ahead and made two different pull requests. The first one being, mark the X session sub package as deprecated. The second being, split out the X11 session into its own sub package. This is so you can actually install it as a separate thing from the main Wayland session, along with giving his plus one as well. Now, at this point, Wolf's Fedora 40 was still about a month and a half away. It's getting very close to be making a change like this because yes, while Wayland is the default session, there is still going to be testing that needs to be done. It needs to be certain that not having the Xorg session there out of the box is actually going to be a viable approach and doing that's going to take a bit of time. And it doesn't have to happen right at this very moment. I'm fine with Gnome on X not being provided by default. But I think there should be a changes page that details the situation. That being those giant wiki pages I often show that details everything that's going on. And for sure, a sanctioned manner for restoring proper updates, OS tree, SE Linux supported Xorg session. So if you're using something like Silverblue, bringing the Xorg session back on that. There is no guarantee this change would also be made on the Atomic distros as well, but in the long run, something needs to be in place to make sure there is a smooth transition. So let's talk this through at the next meeting. My suggestion would be to keep the status quo for Fedora 40 and submit a change proposal for Fedora 41 to drop the X11 session from the default install set and only do it in Rawhide slash Fedora 41. And Neil rightly points out, we aren't having a meeting for two weeks, so that's a pretty long time to wait considering that the release is just around the corner. I would prefer us to be able to make an async decision about removing the X11 session from the media in Fedora 40. Even though Neil is primarily a KDE guy, the reason why he cares about GNOME in this case is he's also involved in Fedora Asahi, the project to get Linux running on the M1, M2, the Apple Silicon Max. And over there, X11 is basically a non-starter. You don't do X11. It is Wayland. Then the conversation basically stalled until the meeting happened. <laughs> so seven days ago, Fedora Workstation Working Group discussed this today and we agreed we should do this for Fedora 41. Since it is really too late for Fedora 40 and it should be handled as a system-wide change anyway. As such, the change got approved for Fedora 41, not for Fedora 40, because, again, making this change to Fedora 40 now is way too close to the release. Like, maybe if it was back in January, it would have been fine, but now, no, the release is in April. We're in March right now. As of seven days ago, it was already six days into March. Now, after all this went down, a fairly big voice in the GNOME space showed up, that being Sunny. I'm not familiar with Fedora processors. I'm just chiming in with an FYI. Screen ready users still rely on the X11 session because of this right here. Consider the global shortcuts portal. There are so many things that still... I don't actually think there is anything that uses the global shortcuts portal yet. Like, literally not a single application. I don't think a lot of the test applications even support the portal yet. That's a big one. That, that's the, the first big one. The GNOME Foundation is funding work on solving the issue, but we don't know if it will be done in time for Fedora 41 and GNOME 47. And GNOME also has an upstream issue for this as well, as in upstream issue for removing the X11 sessions. And GNOME also has an upstream issue for this, as in upstream issue for removing the X11 targets. So out of the box, 
you wouldn't be able to start Gnome with the X11 support. The only option there would be Wayland, unless the user goes out of their way to specifically add X11 back in. We're aware that GNOME accessibility is incomplete, and that's why the packages aren't being deleted, but not installing them by default is another push to ensure that this stuff gets solved in some form or fashion. I do feel bad for the people that have extreme accessibility requirements, the people who simply cannot even get to the point where they install the X11 package without having basic accessibility features working. For those people, Fedora is going to be in a very rough state to use. Now, the people who rely on accessibility that much is a very, very small group, but they are still an important group. But Fedora is going to be Fedora. Now, even though it has been approved, we're likely going to see a lot more discussion being had around Fedora 41, change pages being put up, and all of that sort of stuff. And without a doubt, you're going to see some videos from me if that actually does happen, if Fedora 41 does actually drop the Xorg session by default. But until that happens, you can just keep using Wayland out of the box. So let me know, are you a Fedora user? Are you interested in what's happening over on the Fedora KDE side, which is doing basically the same thing? And do you think it's a good idea there? And do you think it's a good idea for GNOME to do it as well? I would love to know. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video, and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe, silly bear, pay, link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and... Don't go full Fedora.